This is your first time watching, go ahead and hit the subscribe button, <laughs> turn on your post notifications, and hit the like button. Please and thank you. Nice to meet you. My name is Felipe. Well, handshake. That's my beautiful wife, Fiona. She's so cute, beautiful today. I love her more today than I did yesterday. Uh, I gotta get your guys' thoughts on this. This man looks like a trash bag. I... <laughs> it's not, listen, I don't mind this style because I like a baggy style, but it's not like, his style. <laughs> I like baggy too. I've actually been wearing baggy clothes since before we even dated. This is a thing I've done. But this, this is, what did you say this was? Extra large? Or? I don't know, you bought it. It's either an extra large or double XL. But... Look, funny story about this hoodie. <laughs> this was before we moved into the house. I think it was like the week before. We went out to a day club because one of my friends invited us out. And we were only supposed to be there for like, what, two, three hours? We got there at three o'clock and we were there until closing time, which was like 10, 1030. The whole day just passed us by. And we gave we became best friends with this random guy from Camp Darby. It's another base here in Italy, a few hours away. And we pretty much just spent the whole time chatting with this guy. But I See, it doesn't look bad. It's just whenever you make it obvious that it's big. It looks fine right now. I think it's obvious that it's big anyways. No, it looks fine. I feel like I look like a child. Like, does my head not look small in this? Your head is always small. Okay, but doesn't it look extra small <laughs> now that I'm wearing an extra large hoodie? No, it looks fine. It's whenever you're trying to make it obvious that it's bigger, then yeah, it looks huge. But when you're just acting normal, it looks fine. Whatever. Because I, I see, like, I know that for, like, this is one of the one of the fashion trends going around, wearing baggy shit. And, like, I like baggy stuff. I've been wearing baggy clothes for a long time. This right now just is a bit extra for me, and I'm not really, I might change my hoodie. I might change it into a different hoodie. That's how uncomfortable it makes me. But anyways, back to the story. We became best friends with this guy. And then, you know, we were drunk. A lot was happening. And at some point in the night, VNA saw this other teddy bear hoodie. She was like, I really want it. I really want it. And I'm like, I don't want to buy it. 80 bucks. I ended up buying it. And then later in the night, I was cold. And then her and this guy basically forced me into this hoodie. They were like, oh, you're cold? It just so happens that this club has a merchandise shop. They sell their own merch. So they walked me over to the merchandise little store, and then they picked out this hoodie. They were like, oh my god, this was so cool. And then I'm there like, bro, it's 90 bucks, and it's extremely huge. But they forced me to buy it. So there goes 90 bucks down the drain. You just need to try it. It'll be fine. We've already washed this. I don't remember washing that. I did. Well, you I can't just it, wash it once. I think it's going to take about 100 washes before it actually gets to a more fitting size. Not like fitting, but like a big, like an oversized fitting size. You know what I'm saying? Mm hmm Tell me what you guys think. I feel like I look stupid. Because I just looked in the, in like the standing mirror that we have over there. And I just don't like how this area over here, it just makes me look fat. No, it's the point of an oversized hoodie. That's the reason why know. people buy oversized hoodies, is for that bottom being baggy. Because traditional hoodies aren't baggy like that. That's why everybody hates them. Yeah, but I just, I don't know. Like, I mean, this is kind of comfortable, you know, just kind of. But, I don't know. It, it look, I might just go with it. I think I'll just suck it up and, and go with it. Anyways, we don't know what we're doing today. Well, we do, but like, we don't know where to go. Well, the problem isn't, it's, we're very limited because it turns out that these castles are actually private property. They're not castles that you can just access. Yeah, so I, I'm pretty sure at the end of last video, I mentioned how uh, I've been wanting to go see, see castles and stuff. 
just because there's a bunch of them out here in Italy, especially in our area. Not our area specifically, but like within the hour or two hours of our area. But she is right. Um, a lot of them are private property, and they're like kind of Tory, or, Tory kind of thing. Well, there's some that are just straight up private property. You can't access it regardless because that's just straight up somebody's like residence. And then two. A castle is somebody's residence. Yeah, there's been a few. Right what the few. fuck? Oh, that's kind of lit though. And two, there's some that only do guided tours. Yeah, that's what I was saying. Like it's either you can't really do it or you can do it, but you have to pay for it. I, I want to go see some castles, but it seems like that's going to be a bitch to do. So now I'm kind of scrambling for what we can do. There is this one castle that we should go to that's really pretty and I think you'd like it, but it would be so much better if it was on a better day. Like if we went yesterday, it would have been perfect because of this location. Hmm. But it's a, it's over an hour away and that is more of a you buy tickets well, we to go. we drove over an hour yesterday. Yeah, but you know what? The, isn't worth it. This is so annoying too. Yesterday, as you guys saw, it was such a beautiful, clear day. And now today, we're just back to the usual bullshit. I told you, all of March, it's just been this cloudy bullshit weather. And then we get the one good day a month that we it's did take advantage of. Tomorrow. It's gonna be sunny tomorrow. It's gonna be sunny. Like, who knows? That shit. I don't know. I don't really trust the weather app. I just look at the sky for what it is that day. If you guys have noticed in our recent videos, I don't have my, my piercings anymore, and that's because I lost them. Both sets. <laughs> so the first one that I wore for the majority of last year, I actually lost it while we were home for her birthday in October last year. Um, if you guys saw that video where we celebrated her birthday, I got into a little bit of a tussle with one of her friends, like an educational tussle. You know, we were just kind of wrestling on the ground. He like knocked off one of them and then I can't just wear one piercing, that's weird. So I had to put the other one away. And then I went to my backup set and that same night that I came across this hoodie and the one I got her, that same night, I don't know what happened or where it went, at what point. Because there's no way that they fell off. Oh wait, they did fall off in the club. I think what happened was that somebody bumped into like straight up hit my head while something was like, you know, you're in the club, people are close to each other. Like someone bumped into me and then I felt the back. I was like, oh shit, what the fuck? And then I accidentally knocked it out because the back fell off. And then when I went to go fuck with my ear, I pushed out the front one or the front bit and then it just fell on the ground. And then I put the other one in my pocket. But now that's just useless. I'm not gonna combine both sets, obviously, because they're both different sizes, so yeah. That's something I do need to do, hopefully before my birthday, is buy some new piercings. We are in the clouds. We are so high up, it's kind of scary. Yeah, so right now, uh, we are at the equivalent height of Flat Top Mountain in Anchorage, the one that we hiked up. If you guys haven't seen that video, you should, because the view from up there was absolutely spectacular. But, although right now we are on even ground as flat top, it feels a lot higher because all the towns that surround our living area are literally directly beneath the mountain. So it's a steep just drop. Like if you look up from where we live, it, I don't know, it's really crazy. But this is 3,200 feet. But then as opposed to flat top, Anchorage is like all the way that fuck out here. And it doesn't feel, oh, those are a lot of potholes. <laughs> it doesn't feel as tall, but it is ridiculously tall. It's very nice and peaceful. Yeah. My ears have popped like three times now. Yeah, I keep like forcing myself to yawn before it pops. That way, oh my god, there's a bus and it's coming fast. Oh. Why is he driving so fast? The speed limit's 40, dog. I'm going 54. I'd be surprised if we don't come across any snow. It's all gone. Because if there was snow, it would have been by those antenna looking things. Because that's where the snow was. Well, before. I feel like. If we came like two weeks ago, we would have ran into snow. Probably. But we didn't have the car. There's the bus behind us. 
because there's it's attached to a trailer, so that's like <laughs> even more reason as to why it shouldn't. Oh, what are all these? Oh, oh look! Obstacle course. What the fuck? I want to do that. Can we just do? How that? do you even get to that? Ah! <laughs> Where? How do you even access that thing? It's literally just like in the wilderness. I feel like you might just be able to walk up to it. Because I didn't see any place where you could pull over in like a parking lot or anything. Oh my goodness Christ almighty. This bus is making me drive fast. Just let him pull in front of you if you want to pull in front. Oh, they got these nice little... Ooh, check this out. Dirty snow! <gasps> Look! Snow! Snow! I mean, it's, it's dirt snow, but... Snow! Let's go touch some snow. Snow! <laughs> it's like a guinea pig. Snow! <laughs> snow! Wow. I miss snow, to be honest. Yeah, You know, so as much I. as I hated it on a daily basis to just, like, live in, and drive in and all that bullshit. That's I the do... only downside of snow. Other than that, it's it's so much fun. Yeah, I do miss it, I can't lie. It's a little dirty. Snow. Wow, Look, it's like... snowing, guys. It's snowing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna make a snow on oh, you. Now I miss Alaska again. I'm gonna make a snow on you. Let it snow, it's let it snowing. Snow. <laughs> Ah, it's been a while. Huh? Somebody left their Pilsner. What the heck? I'm pretty sure that's a German beer. Yeah, there's like little seats and stuff. I miss the feeling of my fingers being numb. What? <laughs> From the snow and how cold it is. So as you see, oh, it looks like we're about to get there. There's a little roundabout. We should be in the town of Piancavallo. Europe. Piancavallo. You smell like a Piancavallo. We found the snow. <laughs> Two snowboarders. We're damn near in April. We still got enough snow for this. Look. We still got the ski oh, lift shit. going. This is a ski lodge. Well, that's cool. At least we got a ski lodge that's like 20 minutes away from us. The only thing that would suck, I think, right now, though, it's not soft at all. So I don't no. think that's really fun to be sliding down. No, not at all. If you fall on this right now, you will actually break a bone. Because like, it's there is no powder at all. Powder is done. It's a great song you got in your playlist. <laughs> Got a friend in me. Yo! Okay. To infinity. And beyond! <laughs> what even. What's over here? Other than the ski lodge, because not much we can do with that. Well, I imagine that aside from the ski lodge, we got <laughs> lots of places to stay, so you see all those like house apartment looking things back there i assume that there's you know little hotels and shit that you can stay at there's all this back here These are, yeah that one literally says hotel on it hotel regina regina hotel yeah i mean it's a it's a proper ski snowboard lodge area come stay the weekend but is this Shred area some... just like Alyeska where it's literally just a ski lodge and houses and that's it? Seems like it. Shred a couple slopes with the boys. Pop a couple of brewskis. Baby! <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> Gotta go out there and shred, brah. <laughs> I'm gonna throw you in that trash can. Well, you already called me a trash bag, so maybe <laughs> I should have done that. That's creepy. I thought, I thought that was a person. It's a little, a little known thing. <laughs> More snow. More snow. More snow. Is this your first time seeing snow? <laughs> What's going on right now? No, I just miss it. What's this back here? It's a park. Or 
What is that? Uh, it's walls. And benches. Oh! Tubing? Oh, is this for the children's? This is for me. Yeah. This is where I get dropped off at. I think this is tubing. Is this the... What is this? A little daycare? I think so. I think it's... Yeah, I think it's just tubing. Oh, they have like little car thingy mabobbers. Oh, that's so cool. Zoom in on that. I want to go on that. It's so cool. Instead of like sledding tubes, they have those... Where's my finger? Oh. They have those little cars that they probably just go down that little... They should make one of those a Lamborghini. Oh. oh, he was taking a weenie. Oh, God. Oh. Oh. And, and we end. hit a dead end. With this man. That's awkward. Is he still taking a piss? What is he doing? No, he's putting his jacket on. We interrupted him. Tuck it in, man. He might continue. <laughs> no, he was finishing up as I was pulling up. So I'm shaking it. Okay. I didn't see his... <laughs> You know what I mean? I saw his arm doing the thing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, now what? We're in the Hobbits. We're in the Hobbits? Yeah. I don't even think you know what that means. Yeah, the little gremlin Hobbits. What movie is that from? The Hobbit. Eh. Eh, I'm not going to give you that. The Hobbit is a movie, but I'm not giving you that. <laughs> Well, do you I, know what franchise that is? I do, but I can't think of it. This is the one nerd franchise that I don't like. Yeah, I know. It's in my brain. Game of Thrones? Nope. What's the other one? That's a TV show. No, the movie? Yes, the movie franchise. I don't know movie franchises. Lord of the Rings? Is that a show or a yes. movie? Lord yeah, of the Rings. one of those. Yeah, this, is that the one... That's the one with the... Gandalf. The... And Hobbits. Who's Gandalf? He's the guy who's basically Dumbledore, but a little bit different. No, but is Lord of the Rings the one with that alien looking? It's like an ugly yes, version of Gollum. Dobby? Yes, Gollum. With the, like, two strands of hair? Yes, Gollum. Oh. Actually, I'm not convinced that Gollum is his name. I feel like I've said that before, but a lot of people correct me that it's a different name. But I know him as Gollum. Rain, rain, go away. Oh, damn it, I always forget the rest of the words. Come again another day. Come again another day. We need to learn the lyrics to that song. Because <laughs> it keeps raining every day. No, this is the perfect rain. Why drizzle rain is stupid because it's just an inconvenience. If you're going to rain, then rain. No. You're just ruining my day when it's like a light rain and then it's just cloudy skies. But this... All rain is bad. Oh, you saw that? That was some lightning. You didn't see the flash? No. I just saw it in the reflection of the wall. Or, the wall doesn't have a reflection, but I saw it reflect against the wall. I don't know why, but rain seems to be her favorite time of the year. This is her Christmas. Specifically this, this time. Where yeah, it's like thunderous rain. Downpouring, thunder. This yeah. This, this is her favorite time of the year. I hate all kinds of rain. To me, it's just an inconvenience all around. Especially when it's light rain like it is most days here, but this just kills my vibe even more. I hate thunder, I hate lightning, I hate more, I hate heavy rain. It's just like, because for me growing up, right, I was active outside. Playing sports, basketball, football, all kinds of shit outside. So when it's a rainy day like this, it just stops me from doing anything. I mean, I don't do those things anymore. I don't play basketball outside. I don't play football. I don't do any sports anymore like I used to, but like the habit is still there to hate the rain. And plus, you get all cold and wet and it's just, it's just, ugh, God. See, I was... Like when you're out there, like if I have to walk to the car, if we have to go out right now, walk to the car, that's just annoying. Cause then, cause then your clothes smells like wet. I hate the smell of wet clothes. Shit annoys me. I was the kid that played in the rain. So I would go out when it's like this and just have a good time. And go yeah, swimming. but that's also weird. Like, why are you playing in the rain? Just It's fun. Like, yeah, right now? You know what they say? You get sick and shit. Te vas enfermar. 
No, that's just Every for... Hispanic mom ever says that. That's for weenies. Wow. This is a proper downfall, though. Uh, we haven't had heavy rain since before either of us lived in Alaska. Because in Alaska, it's like the same thing that we experience here most days. It's like light rain, but it's every day. Like, towards the end of summer in Alaska, it just rains every day until it turns to snow. It hasn't been this bad since we've been here. Yeah, no, this is the first time that it's actually, like, properly raining, like, lightning, thunder. And I still don't like it. I told her that I was going to take her out to eat again. A little surprise, just like I did last night for sushi. But then this is just annoying, because now it's heavy rain, and we got to walk to the car. It's okay. And then when we get to where we're going to go, we're just going to smell like wet, musty dogs. Are we going to a restaurant? No, it's not a restaurant. They have drive through options? I don't know. If I were... Oh my god. Oh shit, this is... This is Holy rain rain. God. Holy fuck! It just keeps, keeps getting worse by the second. Holy ass! This is the storm of the century! What the fuck? Oh yeah, this is the worst this rain I've seen crazy. since living in Florida. You're hurting the trees are falling. Really? Where? These trees right here were not bent towards us. No, yes they were. Oh, well, it's getting worse because the rain's coming in this direction. Oh, it's hailing. Oh. Oh, fuck. the car. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, it's hailing. Yeah, oh, look, look, look. You can look at it. You can see him on the ground. No, look right there in this spot. Oh, oh, the car is gonna shit. get fucked. I mean, I just replaced that fucking windshield. Well, the windshield's we not gonna get messed up. It's the rest of the car that gets messed up. No, the windshield. If if the hail is big enough and bad enough, then it will fuck up the windshield. Especially how hard this shit is falling. Are you kidding no, me? No, 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 no. I just bought this new windshield for her car. I swear to God, if it, if it, if it gets the fucked up, the windshield's fine. It can handle that. No. It's, wow, this is bad. Like every, there's not even a single droplet of rain. It's just, it's just all hail. Dog, what? What the hell? What the fuck is this? What the hell? Oh my god. Where did this come from? Dog, look at the car. I swear to God, if this if this shit fucks up the car, I'm gonna be pissed. Look at my yard. It's just streaming down the yard. Oh my God. Your car is screwed. It's over. We need oh, to get a new car. car. No we need to get a new car. It's over. <laughs> I almost want to go out there and just see if it's okay. Oh god, I'm getting wet. Oh, I'm getting little sprinkles. Ugh. I got my big ass hoodie. Actually, now the, this big ass hoodie comes in handy now. It's, it's like heavy duty. Yeah, those are some proper pebbles. Oh, what the fuck? If her car is messed up, this is going to be such a bad day. Not yeah, so yeah. Bet, bet you don't like, bet you don't like rain now, do you? Huh? Bet you don't like rain and thunderstorms now, do you? You know what's so screwed up? How beautiful yesterday was? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. This is so annoying. We had one good day yesterday, and now we're back to this shit. No, it's okay. I mean, you're fairly small, but like, this is fucking annoying. Problem when you get golf balls. Bro, look at the fucking driveway. The drive, it's all just, it's all. <laughs> I've never actually seen hail before today. This is kind of crazy. Yeah, it's fun right now because it's pebbles. No, this is not when fun you get at all. Golf balls, that's when it sucks. Let me go buy a cover. Is Optimus Prime okay? I cover. 
Yeah, we do. We need to put that on the to-do list. Is the windshield all right? Yeah. Shit better not be fucked up, man. I literally just bought this windshield right before we left Alaska. I can't see on top of the car, but like, I really hope it's not. For a second, I thought this was a dent, but then it's the same thing over there. It's just the design of the car. You want to eat it? No, I don't want to eat it. <laughs> Tastes good. I doubt it tastes good. The air quality is shit out here. That That's some, like, piss water rain. We were really in the room like, Oh, it's raining so hard! Freaking hail. Hail storm. That's funny, though. It lasted, like, all of three minutes. <laughs> Just like me. Yeah. You didn't have to agree to that. <laughs> Happy? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Not getting McDonald's for another month, so you better enjoy it. I think the black cat is dead. Mm. It's laying in the backyard. Probably sunbathing. It looks pretty dead to me. I think the cancer finally got to it. No, I don't want to pick up a dead cat. Where? <laughs> Doesn't look very alive to me. You see a bug fly around it? Oh no, that thing is gone. I just saw a bug. The cancer finally got to it. Excuse the hair, we're just getting up. Oh, never mind. He is definitely super alive. Okay, never mind. I was just checking on you, man. As much as I don't like you, I just really hope to never see the cancer actually get to you. I don't think I've, like, zoomed in enough for you guys to see any of the times that we've seen the cat, but it has, like, exposed, like a patch of exposed skin on its back, and it doesn't look healthy. That, that thing looks like it definitely has some sort of skin condition or cancer, I don't know. It's alive. Okay. Yeah, I guess he was sunbathing. But yeah, I'm convinced that that exposed patch of skin that it has, because it's not just an exposed patch of skin, it's like, like the hair is ripped off. Maybe he got in a fight with another cat. I don't know. It looks not healthy, so I feel like it might have cancer or some kind of condition. But yeah, I, ju I just really, as much as I don't like that cat, I don't want to have to deal with it if it gets into my yard. Anyways, we forgot to end the video last night, so ciao. If you haven't already, hit the subscribe button, turn on your post notifications, hit the like button, and we'll see you tomorrow for episode 5 of the podcast. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.